Dr. Irma, more work is needed to repair damage done to the Florida Everglades. This weekend, Senator Marco Rubio and U.S. Secretary of Interior Ryan Zinke got a first-hand look. CBS4's Eugene Ramirez reports. That's, the, that's, where we, that's where we cut our fish over there when we bring it. That's where we clean right there. Right, right there. In that little tent. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, and it, it needs to be replaced as well. The Flamingo Marina and Visitor Center at Everglades National Park, a familiar place for Senator Marco Rubio, but it's operating with limited facilities following Hurricane Irma. This is an enormous part of our identity as a state and an incredible part of our economy. Everglades officials estimate the park brings some $250 million to the local economy, which could take a hit while facilities look like this, a collapsed ceiling, water damage, and debris scattered about. We took a lot of damage, uh, both here and in Everglades City at our Gulf Coast Ranger Station. Nature also took a big hit. Park workers have been clearing down trees and are working to address underwater damage concerns that could affect marine life. Along for the tour, Secretary Ryan Zinke, whose Department of the Interior oversees the National Park Service. We all understand how important our parks are, not only for stewardship and protection of American lands, but also for the local communities. Park sections are opening gradually. While much of the focus is on storm cleanup, there are also ongoing restoration projects. Everglades restoration is what's going to give us the Everglades well, well into the future for generations ahead. That was Eugene Ramirez reporting the Everglades cover 1.5 million acres, so it's a lot of work. The Shark Valley area, which is popular with cyclists, remains closed due to flooding.